Hello survivors and welcome to the Walking Dead Road to Survival video and in this video we are going to be going over the Shamrock Shuffle trivia missions. These have been up for uh, I think about a week. I left it till quite late. I wasn't sure if I was even going to do anything on this because we don't have too much variation on the events. I thought I'd let people have a chance to actually have fun with it rather than trying to spoil it for people but if you are on the last day and you're desperate to get things done these are the trivia mission answers on what you have to do to actually get those missions done. So if you go into your missions and you go into the event tab, you can see there is the Shamrock Shuffle Trivia. We'll just click view on the missions themselves. The first main mission, as you can see, complete all missions, all submissions to get, get this reward. We have got three missions to complete and they're pretty straightforward. Luck Refueled is using Basic Replenish. These are the blue replenish that you can get in your workshops you just go onto any stage and use some replenish you can do some of these other ones too because the next one is called shamrock sos and this is using the item called first aid kit you just have to use this eight times refueled for the replenish it's 40 times so you're gonna have to run quite a few stages to do that the next one is called party bouncers and you have to use any mythic specialized trainer so it would be things like ulysses and Liliths and also Maddox and Madelins. These count towards this. You have to use 15. You might have to actually do more than one skill. I don't know the exact number, but um, that's what you have to do to do these first three missions for the main mission. Once you complete all these submissions, you get the main mission reward. Now the next set of missions, again, you complete all the submissions, you get the rewards. There's three missions in this one. The first one is called Pot O Java. And this is just using black coffee, the item. Again, you can use this on stages when you're using your replenish and so on and so forth. The next one is called Fortune Recharged. And on this one, you use high replenish. So now you've got four items you can use on a world map or a road map to get done. Two of these are quite easy. Pot of Java and Shamrock SOS from the previous set don't require as many items used. So you can switch out those after just running one stage. Fortune Recharge needs 15, so it'll be more than one run and obviously like i said with the replenish you need 40 and the next one is called provisions pot is using military supplies you can do this in conjunction with party bouncers getting those skill ups on your mythic characters this is because obviously you're going to use military supplies in doing that as well so once you've finished all of these submissions again you'll get the main reward moving on to the next set of missions this time around we have four missions required to be completed again you complete all those submissions you get the 50 of the actual currency here that is going to count towards the other uh, missions that you've got going on the first three missions the first one's called lucky shelter in this one you have to collect survivors so you are going to be able to do this while you're also um obviously getting those um high replenishes used those replenishes used uh, black coffee so on and so forth you can get these at the end of stages it sounds like a lot to get a thousand but if you run the last stage of the entire world map you do get over a hundred per run a lot of the time i would 100% do world map over road map. Road map does not generally drop too many survivors. Sometimes you might only get like two or three. So generally speaking, do world map to get a lot of survivors. The next one's called Green Slaughter. And this is pretty basic. You have to just defeat walkers. And that is pretty straightforward. You can do that on some of those later stages as well. Blitz through the stages, get some walkers down. It is a thousand. This might take a little bit of time. But with all these other things you've got to do on those stages as well, you're probably going to get this done while just naturally getting those items used. The next one is called Emerald Trailblaze, and it is complete roadmap stages. You have to do 300, but you should have done a fair few amount of these naturally if you've been playing this week, just because we have to do a lot of roadmap stages, generally speaking, all the time. Um, otherwise, you want, want to maybe run the story roadmap that does cost very low amounts of energy. I think you can probably use the item that quick completes the stages, and that would work, but obviously it'd be a bit of a waste. It's just whether you want to have to actually complete it really quickly or not. The item usages on world map and road map will work here. But like I said, you don't get many survivors, so you're going to have to mix it up quite a bit. Now, the fourth submission from this set is called Golden Gear. And all you have to do is use Gold Gear medals, but 600 of them. And this is very difficult. Obviously, if you don't have 600 Gold Gear medals... You are actually just out of luck, unfortunately. You're not going to be able to complete this submission and, in turn, not going to be able to complete the main mission 
Fortunately, the rewards here are not that massive and they hopefully won't make the big difference for you, but they could. I would actually hold off on doing this one if you're doing it for the sake of it until you've done the roadmap and everything else you can do because this one obviously is effectively the most expensive one to have to do. Unless you've actually got two really good characters that you can use gold medals on, this is, I would say, a good one to avoid if you can. Now, one last set of missions within the Shamrock Shuffle Trivia. Again, this time around, you're completing four submissions and you're getting the rewards. The first one is called Leprechaun Syndicate, and you just have to use faction supporters. So you can do that while you're running the roadmaps and the world maps using the items. So you can see how it's generally better off waiting until later on in um, these trivia events to actually wait until you know all of the stuff that you can do because you can just do a lot of it at the same time. Um, the last day like today is a bit risky though. I'm on a second region right now. That's why everything has not been progressed just to make it look nice and uh, nice and easy. Um, the next one is called The Last Stand. You have to complete 175 survival road stages here as you can see 100 zero out of 175 here now you can't do this on the daily you would have had to have done this via the tournament there is a tournament ongoing right now i think and basically this means that you can get the stages done if you so need i think most people would have done this if they're just playing the tournament sr shouldn't be too much of a problem the next one is called swift strike you have to take down fast trait enemies this can happen on any of the stages that you're running to actually get everything else done as well as i think sr and maybe even like raids you only have to do 50 here so it isn't too crazy you probably already completed this if you've just been playing during the week this one isn't too difficult and then the very last submission is called st paddy's showdown and this one you have to win 50 raids with everybody alive at the end of the fight you can have someone taken out and then revived but they have to have all five teammates alive at the end of the fight and that's how you can progress on this one there was a raid tournament, so you might have progressed slightly on this one. Again, kind of like the 600 gold gear medals. I would just hold off to see if you actually need to do this to complete the other missions, you know, to get these items, the collection items. Because if you don't, there's no point wasting your time and raid energy to do 50 flawless raids, which takes a lot of time. That's going to take you at least an hour to do that because each raid takes like two to three minutes a lot of the time. Um, I don't think Scrappy realized how long this act this mission will take it could potentially take up to three hours it's, it's a bit ridiculous to kind of ask that of somebody but especially for 50 of the collection i am like i say ridiculous but it is what it is it is what it is those are the missions hopefully you've completed the majority of them naturally and you've just got a couple more to do get them done guys get your rewards hopefully you get some nice stuff from the actual market i hope this was helpful for you i want to thank you very much for tuning in and as always Keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.